Hello. Hello, friends. How are you doing? It's Buck and Billy Ray. And you know what I've done? <laughs> I sure have. I've turned it on airplane mode. <laughs> no interruptions. The brain is working. The glasses are here. The freaking screwdriver, the home light screwdriver is here from Ben, my buddy from Buckenstock. Freaking guy lays a home light screwdriver. I mean, not just any screwdriver, friends. Chabango! Flip flop! Boom! Oh, sure. Oh, sure. A Phillips on one end and pitchclango! And a flatty on the other side, friends. I think I'll keep her on the flatty side for now. You never know when you're going to have to turn a screw on a power saw here and there all over town now and again. Ah. Okay, friends. Hey, listen. You know what happened to us today? Check it. We're doing a video. Welcome to Buck and Billy Ray's YouTube channel. Buck and Billy Ray Smith's YouTube channel. Actually, that's what it says on YouTube when you go to YouTube and read it up in there and that. Welcome to the freaking new subscribers. Watch out in the next video coming out. I got about an, a 38 minute video coming up. Just some stuff, you know, just doing some things. Okay, some stuff, I do things. I, I do stuff and things and different things and kinds of things and stuff. So don't think I don't, okay? Usually it's wood. Um, we got snot roaring winds and, and we got, the rain just stopped within the last half an hour. We got blown out today. It was ripping. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, regardless, we got a dead tree to take out. I was hoping we were going to do that. And we got blown out this morning. Me and Hogan were fighting over the tree. We both want to climb bad right now. It's funny. Anyway, friends, so it's winter time. So the tree cutting kind of, it does slow down. I'll be honest, things do slow down in the tree cutting. That means views go way down because tree videos... There's every, not everybody's favorite, but they get the big views. So, yeah, we take a little hit. That's life in the film. Here comes the wind. Here's the yard from yesterday's work in the yard. Me and Sven were here. Uh, there's poo here. You gotta watch out for the animals. So we're working. I got a little bit more wood to stack. We're looking good. I like this to be good going into winter because we're in and out of here, back and forth. <laughs> Back to the house with the firewood all the time. And if you can't, you know, if you got stuff everywhere, you can't see the dog plops. I mean, we scoop them up every day, but the sneaky little buggers drop them right behind you when you're leaving and all. Anyways, I guess it's, I guess I'm in a good mood. I guess I'm just in a good mood. And you want to know one of the reasons I'm in a good mood? Yeah, it's time. John. Do you, friends, do you remember at Buckenstock when uh, one of the uh, employees from, from Five Star came up to me and I had a package and they wanted me, they wanted to film it, opening it or take a picture of me opening it. It was that old act sign from Collins. Do you guys remember that? By the, by the, where they were having the water and stuff up at the door. Well, that gentleman, his card was inside the picture or something. I didn't remember so much stuff from Buckenstock, right? Uh, who's that? Ah, anyway, yeah, so he gave me that old sign. So I called him today or texted him and he said, who's this? And I went, what do you mean, who's this? And I, it was funny, but anyways, John, buddy, thank you for the old axe sign. It was Collins. It said something about the best world's axes are the cheapest or something like that. It was a funny sign. But it was old and it was cool looking and it was neat. It had a freaking nail in the frame still. It was very cool. Um, friends, today, uh, it's my dad's birthday. And as most of you know, uh, this is a new phase of, of, of my life coming forward. Uh, my dad is in my life now. <laughs> and it all kind of stemmed from leather and steel. My big brother. Yeah, Andy. Andy and him kind of reconnected, okay? And uh, see, my dad uh, had me and my brother with my mom, Mama Buckin, years and years and years ago. Oh, 52, 3, 4 years ago now. And Andy's like 52, and I'm a 50. 
were 18 months apart. They didn't see eye to eye. They split up and divorced when I was a very young man. Two, I think, two and a half. So I don't remember Pops. And we used to just see him now and again. It's a long story. I'm not going into it. The point is now is that he's back. And he's making an effort. And I think that's so cool. It's like full circle. A few of you know this already. But for those of you who don't, and, and for those of you, maybe you've got uh, a similar situation, uh, and you got maybe you've got a parent trying to uh, uh, you know be in your life now that wasn't. Maybe you were angry. Maybe you were hurt and abandoned. Uh, don't go to your grave angry. D- don't don't do it. It's forgiveness is the key here on this one. So we're we're gonna we're gonna utilize the time we have left, uh, and 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 roll. But that's all I want to say on that right now because that's just it's in my life. I was spit it out. It's his birthday tonight. If I was angry, I wouldn't be going to his birthday. I'd be giving him the bird and saying, forget it. What You know what I mean? What the hell's that? Why do that? So me, Leather and Steel, my brother, uh, my little step half-brother, Todd, which you guys probably haven't heard much of either. Um, it's a real healing thing in the family. It's, it's really cool, actually. It's, it's pretty cool. Because me and my brothers have been estranged. Especially, like, you haven't even heard me talk about my younger brother. Yeah, he's my stepbrother. He's my dad's kid with his other wife. And his wife just passed away within the year, six months. So he's, dad's going through some stuff now too and healing over that, grieving. That's a process. So, uh, that's that. Let's move on. Okay, so I'm in the bunker. I got my outside cleaned up from yesterday. I got a bit more stuff to do. Me and Ganges are going for supper. Uh, Meet mom and Rita and that. Actually, Rita works. Kind of a bummer. But I wanted to share something, friends. And, and I want to show it to you before it's done. Look at this. Look at this little craftsman axe head. Look at it, friends. It's mint. It was never beat up. It was never smashed. I mean, you can see where it was. Maybe it was used to maybe hit something, but it's got no mushrooming on it. None whatsoever. I just chamfered ever so slightly, sanded it, and just, it's just a beautiful little accent. It's a little boy's accent. It is, it is just about two, uh, two and a half pounds. It's in between two and a half and two and a quarter. So it's a boy's axe. And I got a gorgeous handle for it. Yeah, and it's ready. See, look at it. It's the small little eye, okay? But I ook to gondar. I ook to gondar. She's a dandy. She's a danderto. I think it's a 45 degree, somewhere's in there. But it's a beautiful axe, and I'm slapping it together. Now, there's a couple other things I wanted to talk about right now, and I'm going to freaking just upload this. We're already eight minutes into the video. I flapped about my dad all that time. Oh. <sighs> So, LaFald, Derek LaFald, thank you, buddy. Thanks again for bringing all them saws. Ben, I thanked you before and I'm thanking you again. That was a highlight for me at Buchenstock. Loved it. Those, <laughs> friends, can you believe we're already, we're already talking about 2020? We are. We're talking about it already. We're going to get ahead of it. It's the people that make that happen. It's not me. I don't, I just, we did it once. It was a hit. We did it again. It was a monstrous hit. It was wonderful. Um, and benefits came from it for the, from the, to the kids of Five Star, the, the, the at-risk kids and education for kids. So that's a freaking bonus. Uh, Auction Indiana, buddy, you crazy son of a B.I., you know what? He came, friends, and did the auction. No, 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 no. He auctioned, auction Indiana. You see him on the channel all the time. He's been here a long, long time. Auction from my heart, from my family, from the channel. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing that for us. You were a freaking hit. I got to open this door. It's hot in here. I'm, uh... 
Probably, I'm, I'm mailing axes today to a man named Darren. Darren, you know who you are. And um, Andrew, I didn't get it yesterday. Today, on the way to Dad's uh, freaking boy day, I'm mailing out them axes for you. Um, we've got axes that came in the mail. Mm -hmm. This is a beauty. Is this? I'm going to have to get my bearings. This all happened before buck and stuff. Look at that sucker. I know whose it is. I just have to look at paperwork. <laughs> I do. <clears throat> and look at this. There was another fella here who sent and actually think, yes, there it is right there. See, I was smart. Yes. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to peek at it right now because I, I remember... And I want to just peek at this and mention this fella's name. He's a great guy. Oh, as a matter of freaking fact. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, friends. I'm just looking here. Uh, well, I, I do have glasses somewhere. I, I thought I did. Where's my glasses? I just had the freakers with me. Did I pocket them? Where's my glasses for crying out loud? Are they on my head? No. I can't. Oh, they're right in my freaking pocket, friend. See, that's the thing when you start going freaking blind. This is what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I don't know how I didn't just put a hole in a, in a plastic hose. I don't know how I didn't just do that, my propane hose. Ivan. It's Ivan. Yes, indeed it is. So we're moving on axes. We got lots to do, friends. We're gonna be cutting trees in between, but this is a very nice ax head. It's a true temper, Kelly works. It's a beauty. It is, it's a dandy, friends, look. And the beaver tooth handles are wonderful for these. But I've got two more that have been here. Um, this one, it's a craftsman. Who sent me the craftsman? Who did it? I forget. I do, I forget. It came in the mail. Anyways, it's going to get made, so it'll be here. But, so there's, there's lots of stuff to do that all came before. I want to talk about somebody right freaking now. Oh, yes, I do. It's Morgan. Hey, Morg. Pardon me, it's not Morgan. It's Matthew freaking Arnold. Matthew, you're probably wondering what, when's this going to go down? Well, buddy, it's going down. It's going down right now. Matthew Arnold. Man, Sully, Slammer, we got your wedge banger coming. Daryl, the Slammer, Hammer, Slammer, his axe is coming. Uh, friends, this is just a video I'm just flapping off about because these are things that hit my mind every once in a while. And what better of a way to get it done than to talk directly right to the horse, which is you, Slammer, and Matthew Arnold, and Sully, and other people. You know what's, you know what's funny? actually, and I, I bet you I will find it as soon as I look. That axe head, that one that, uh, it's not Billy LeCount. It's, it's not Billy LeCount. I know it's not Billy LeCount. I believe it's Two Mule, maybe? No. Anyways, I'm not going to sit here and try and figure it out in front of you guys, because that would be kind of silly as I do it. I'm just hoping the name will pop out and I'll go bang. Yeah, that's who it is. That's not going to happen right now. Lots of stuff going through my brain. Check this out. I wanted to just prep this up. Look at this axe, how this axe is going to be, friends. It's going to be a little boy's axe. I got some wicked boy's axes over there. These are a highly underused axe. But friends, I don't I don't shine up my axe heads. I don't do it. I, I just don't do it. I don't, I, I don't like the way that looks just personally for me. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? Me. So... This thing's ready to go on. And uh, it, 
That's it. You heard it. There's freaking curl everywhere. It's a little teeny space right there at the back, which doesn't mean anything. And it's dead square up and down. And it's a beautiful axe. And it's going together. And I just freaking love it. I, I actually love it. Yeah, there's like a little... It's where the... I don't know what happened to this one. Like we're... To, I don't think you'll even see it. You, 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 it's... Oh, you may. You, you, here, let's see. You may, if you look very closely. You see, it's minuscule. It's like a little teeny sliver, which I will leave. Uh, or throw some sawdust and some vodka in. But this thing's ready to rock. I'm going to throw a wedge in it, and we're going to pound it off together. Uh, we're going we're gonna to pound it in. Um, it's a matter of, if I'm not mistaken, that's almost there. Anyway, I'm just going to send this video out now. There was a few things I wanted to talk about. One of them was Mr. Matthew, your axe. Matthew Arnold, do me a favor, buddy. I can go through the other paperwork in the house, but if you're catching this video and you're watching the video and you see me rambling, say, hey, Buckin, because I've got, I've got you written down, but I don't got you written down for double bit or single bit. I don't, buddy. And I want you to tell me exactly what it was. See, I got all these other ones. What a silly bugger. Oh, Buckin. Yeah, Matthew Arnold. You see, I, I just didn't write down style. Why would I do that? Matthew Arnold, give me a hoot, because you're a hoot. We're back in the bunker, friends. Fall is here. We got the, the Scooby homeless fan rolling. We got all kinds of things going. We got our freaking new subscriber thing. Tickety, tickety, tickety. Welcome to the new subscribers. Me and the boy are jumping in the truck. We're going to go mail those axes. It was ripping here this morning. Right ripping. That's it. That's all I'm talking about. I'll have a video out for you probably within the hour and it'll be a longer one um double video day today well this isn't really a video it is but it's a rambler there's chester look at chester you got to see him before this video shuts down look at him look at his face look at that freaking dog hi chester leo what are you doing are you flipping over you know that people love you chester you do <laughs> You do. You are such a good boy. Oh my God! Look at him, friends. Look at Chester. He's 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 zonked. <laughs> Anyways, friends, be kind to one another in there. I love you all. We'll talk soon. We'll see you on the next video, which will be coming up to you shortly. Over and out.